Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today we're going to be continuing on in our RPG game tutorial series, and uh, we're going to be starting our setup for the inventory system, as well as adding some more interactions with, uh, you know, things like weapons and food and uh, more kind of RPG elements. So um, here's a quick look at what we'll be doing. Um, you'll be able to move around and uh, kind of pick up food or pick up weapons. Right, and then you can open your inventory, right, and you can click them to eat them and use them. Um, you'll be able to kind of equip weapons and um, kind of do stuff like that. And then, of course, you know, we'll look at more um, sort of armor stuff later and, um, you know, kind of just diving into a little more complexity. So, um, yeah, that's what we've got to look forward to. Uh, so, let's go ahead and get started. Um, First thing we're going to do is go into our UI folder, okay, and we're going to create some UI elements that will be uh, act as our, you know, our inventory. So let's right-click, go to a user interface, and create a widget blueprint. We'll call this UI underscore inventory. Oops. Uh, then we'll also create another one that we'll call UI underscore inventory item, okay. So we'll just save those for now. Uh, we'll come back to those in a little bit. Uh, next, let's go into our interactables folder. Okay, and first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on our base interactable, and we're going to right-click and create a child blueprint class. So what this is going to do is create um, uh, a child of that base interactable, so it'll have all the same functionality as the base interactable, but now we can add further functionality uh, that will be you know specific to itself. Okay, so we'll call this one now BP underscore base uh, item. All right, so this will contain more information um, kind of specific to items. And then from this, we'll be able to make like uh, a base weapon or a base armor, or a base food, you know, base potion, etc. Uh, okay, so yeah, um, that's all we need there. So we'll just save that. Um, next, we're going to right click and create a blueprint um, or go under blueprints and create uh, an enumeration okay so we'll call this e item type uh, and then we can open that up and basically what these are going to be are all the different types of items that we can have so we'll add a bunch um, that might be too many for now but um, this first one we'll just call none just as like a default uh, we can call one weapon you know armor um, this one could be food maybe potion um, and how about just coins for now okay and you know if we need other ones later on we can definitely add those as well alright so last thing we need to do for now is right click again create another or go under blueprints again and this time we're going to create a structure so uh, we'll name this F item info and basically this structure is going to hold all the variables uh, kind of related to our items okay so this first one here we're going to call item type and we're going to change its type to our F or not F E item type alright next we'll create a variable called um, item name All right, and we'll change this to a uh, text okay so uh, basically that'll just be you know whatever we want to call the item that'll be its name alright so next we'll create another one that we can call um, or not another name rather rather uh, we will create a variable called item image okay so this will be uh, the image of um, that represents our item in our inventory okay so we'll change this to a texture 2d okay and the last thing we're going to add for now is a um, variable called item class okay and we'll change this to our BP base item um, instead of being a reference, we're going to choose class, and this is going to be used for um, you know kind of spawning our items and um, just kind of accessing different things related to the class. All right, so we can save that and close out of it. Uh, next, we'll go ahead and I don't know what's wrong with the lighting here; it gets really white. It's, anyways, um, we're going to go into our base item now. All right, open that up, and um, we're going to add some variables, or rather, just one variable. So we'll add a new one and we'll call this item info. Alright, and we'll click this drop down here and call this 
uh, or we'll search for f item info. All right, and we can make that public if we want, um, just so it's accessible uh, from from uh, the editor. So uh, now, after we've compiled that, we can go to, over to default value, and we can click the drop down to see, uh, you know, that we have all these different uh, variables now. Um, so you know, we can specify whether we want a weapon, armor, food, you know, etc. We can change what its image is, uh, we can give it a name, and we can change its item class. So um, we're, we are actually going to set um, this item class here automatically so that we don't have to kind of go looking for whatever item class is. So to do that, let's go to the construction script. All right. And basically we're just going to get our item info. Okay, And then we want to also set our item info. Uh, and then we'll split both of these pins. So we'll right click, go to split struct pin, do the same thing here. Basically, we're just going to hook these first three up, but then for this last one, um, we're going to right click and say get class, and we want this get class right here, get object class, and for object, we are going to say self, All right? so it'll get the class of our self, and then we'll plug it in just like that. So, um, so you know, once we start getting more and more items, uh, it'll become a little more difficult to always know which item that we are or um, you know it might just take a while to find it so this will just speed up the process and make things easier on us all right so um, next thing we're gonna do is let's delete all of this stuff um, and uh, we are going to right click and type in interaction okay so this as you might recall um, just to show you really quick from our BPI interact um, this interaction function um, will be called from our character when we interact with something. So we haven't set that up yet, but uh, we'll get around to it pretty quickly here. Uh, so anyways, back in our item, um, we'll right click and say event you know, interaction. So whenever we receive this interaction event, um, we'll do something. Okay, And what we'll do is, um, well basically we'll want to take this item and add it to our soon-to-be inventory. Okay, so we still got quite a bit of setup to do, um, so let's keep let's keep plugging away. So uh, next, let's go back to our BPI interact, right? Our interface. Okay, and let's add two new functions. So first, we'll add one here called uh, pickup. Okay, so this we'll call this when we pick up an item, uh, and then we'll add another one called use item, and we'll call this you know when we use an item. So uh, for pickup. All right, we'll add an input that we will call uh, item info, and we'll change this to f item info uh, because we're going to want to pass along this information so that we know, um, you know, what our inventory item is. Uh, then for use item, we'll also add, you know, the same f item info, and call this item info uh, because when we use an item, then uh, we're going to want to make sure that we know, you know, what the item is and what it does. Okay. So we've got that. If we go, um, let's just make sure we compile everything. All right, save everything. There we go. Uh, next, we can open up our character. All right, and let's go. Um, just look really quick at our interaction stuff. Um, so you know we have our update, our you know registering the interactable and unregistering it. Uh, the only other thing we're going to do right, right here is we're going to right click and. Um, well, basically, on a key press, we want to call that interaction uh, message. So we need to find the message. To find that, let's uncheck context sensitive and go to interaction message. All right. So we'll call this. Okay. Um, but we need, you know, an event to call it. Now we could choose, you know, like a key, simply like that. But I'm going to do um, an input uh, event. So uh, to do that, let's go to Edit, Project Settings, go under Input. And under action mappings, we'll add a new um, action. So we'll call this simply interact. Okay, and I'm going to choose the F key for this. Uh, you know, you can choose whatever key you want. Uh, just make sure it's not a key that is used for any of these other things. Um, all right, so we'll just add the F key for now. So we can go back in our character blueprint and right click and type interact. Um, and then choose the action event. Okay. So now whenever we press interact, which is the F key, we will call this interaction event, and we will send it 
to our highlighted interactable, okay? And the instigator is going to be our self. All right. Now, the last thing that we uh, kind of should do here is um, we just want to make sure that this is valid. Um, otherwise, there might be errors later on. So we'll just do a simple is valid, uh, the question mark one. Okay. And if it's valid, then we'll send this message. Otherwise, we won't. Uh, pretty straightforward. Okay. So now we're sending this message. All right, so it'll be sent to whatever we're interacting with, or whatever our highlighted interactable is. So if it's our base item, okay, then we're going to want to come in and um, tell tell it to pick up um, this item. Okay, so on event interaction, we'll drag off, and we will type pick up. And I keep spelling that wrong. Pick up. Okay, so again, we're going to want the message. So untick context sensitive and find the message. All right. And now the target, since we are passing through this instigator, which is you know our character, as you might recall from right here, um, we can simply plug this in to target. And then for item info, we're going to get our item info and plug it in like that. All right, perfect. And then the last thing, so after we pick something up, we are going to simply destroy it or get rid of it. Okay, so we can say destroy and destroy actor. Okay, so that's actually all we need for our base item right now. Um, so next, what we need to do is have our character respond to this pickup event. So we'll go back to our character, all right, and we'll find a little bit of open space here, and we're going to right-click and say event pickup. Okay. So from here, you know, it's passing through the item info, and what we're going to do is take this item info and add it to. Um, an array of item infos which will kind of act as our inventory. Okay, so we'll create a new variable here that we'll call um, inventory. Okay, and we'll change this to f item info. And over in the details panel, we'll set this to an array. Okay, um, and then next, we're actually going to create a variable um, that will represent the size of our inventory. So we'll create another one called uh, inventory size. Okay, and this will untick the or uncheck the array, and we'll change it to an integer. Um, so by default, let's set our inventory size to like 25, so we can hold 25 items. Okay, so what we're going to do when we pick something up is we want to first um, get our inventory and get its length, and make sure that um, our length is still like all the items in our inventory is less than our inventory size. Okay, so we'll get the inventory size, and we'll just say less than. So is our inventory right now less than our maximum you know, size? Okay, so if it is, connect this up to the branch. So if it is, then we'll take our inventory, uh, you know, control W to du duplicate, and we will add unique, um, we will add this info to our inventory. So we'll plug it in like so, um, and that'll be good for now. So we'll stop for there for right now, um, and we will continue on in the next video. So uh, thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in the next one.